Hi and welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled Five Things That Longevity Scientists Changed Their Minds About They Were Wrong that was produced by the YouTube channel Thomas DeLauer is 11 minutes and 34 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. Off the bat, I'm going to call this title and thumbnail 100% pure clickbait. He does not name any scientists, despite putting David Sinclair's face on his thumbnail. He talks about five things that the scientific community once believed, but now the science has changed. So let's take a quick look at what those five things are. First on his list is genetics as a determinant of longevity. The previous belief was that genetics play the most significant role in determining how long we live. However, recent studies suggest genetics only accounts for about 20 to 30% of our longevity, highlighting the greater importance of lifestyle factors. Second is the ability to change bad habits later in life. The previous belief was it was too late to make meaningful changes to habits such as smoking later in life. However, research, including a study from the New England Journal of Medicine on smoking cessation, shows that significant health benefits and increased lifespan can be achieved through lifestyle changes at any age. He highlights things like changing your diet and the benefits of adding 30 minutes of fitness to your day. And number three is the impact of resveratrol. In that, resveratrol, which is often found in red wine, was touted for its anti-aging benefits. However, more comprehensive studies, such as one published in JAMA, have found no significant impact of resveratrol intake on mortality or inflammation, questioning its previously claimed anti-aging effects. At number four is the consumption of alcohol and longevity. Previously, it was thought that moderate alcohol consumption could increase lifespan. He then cites a large-scale analysis again in JAMA with 4.8 million participants that showed even moderate alcohol consumption did not improve lifespan and that higher consumption of alcohol negatively impacts mortality. And finally, he touches on caloric restriction versus diet quality in that it was previously thought that caloric restriction was seen as more important than the quality of the food in your diet. Thomas then says that research indicates, but he only cites one study in monkeys, that while caloric restriction has its place, the quality of the diet, especially one that's whole food based, is equally, if not more important for longevity, which I do agree with. You must eat whole foods, and that could be carnivore at one end or even vegan at the other end of the spectrum. Just cut out all of the ultra processed crap. Now, you have to remember that Thomas DeLauer puts out a health, lifestyle and longevity type video pretty much every single day. In my humble opinion, I then start to hear the old adage, it should be quality and not quantity. And in a lot of his videos, he does just regurgitate the same old longevity stories and look at the same old studies. His videos seem to be more now about getting sponsors ad on the screen than passing on useful up to date scientific information. That said, I will continue to watch his channel because every now and again, he does post what I consider to be absolutely fantastic content. 